like to wish Mike a very happy birthday. Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight. And today we're at Aya Napa. There's the Aya Napa little marina. And in front of us is the Black Pearl, the famous Black Pearl pirate ship. And today we're going on the Black Pearl. Well, we're having a day trip on the Black Pearl. So we're going to go and see what's in store for us. So here we are. There's the Black Pearl and there's the crew. Hello. Morning. We've got a lovely welcome from the crew. Oh, they've got their t-shirts on. Look, the Black Pearl t-shirt. So we know who the cr crew are. So let's go into the ship, guys. Morning. What, what a massive ship and lovely welcome. Hi. This Morning. must be one of the crew guys because all the crew's got different t-shirts on but they all say black pearl look there's one over there look she's got a gray one on there we are there's the captain here doesn't look too happy and we'll have a look oh there's some treasure there we are some treasure must be the last lot pick this up so we'll be looking out for some treasure and there's some more of the crew guys I think he's had better days right let's go and have a look around oh look at these lovely benches you can sit around that's lovely and cool in here guys there's a bar oh we've got a bar as well some more crew lots of crew around hello Ahoy. lots of lovely crew around he does look like one of the crew, doesn't he? Me? Yes, you. Are you one of the crew? No, no, I think he's not, guys. He's a stowaway. That's it, a stowaway. Yeah. So look, guys, if you haven't paid for the trip, you get the noose. Okay, so make sure you've got your tickets, guys. You will get the noose. Right, we'll go upstairs, shall we, and have a look around. Oh, lots of space upstairs and another bar. There we are. Oh, fantastic benches. Look, comfortable benches everywhere. Look at this. Look, loads of space, guys. We'll go further to the back, shall we? Oh, there's a, another deck upstairs, guys. There we are. That's where the ship's captain will be. There's some more crew. Oh, look. Down here, guys, is the bar. But behind the bar is another seating area. Look, lots of seats here. Benches everywhere. Look at these comfortable benches. So there's loads of places to sit and enjoy this lovely trip whatever that may bring right let's go upstairs guys there we are this is where all the navigation goes on here we go there's the captain in there oh he's not in there at the moment hopefully he'll be there soon drive us away now here at the back of the boat guys is some more beautiful seating and look at this this is great area a bit shaded here at the moment there we are right it looks like we've got some cannons as well guys look load them up from there turn that and fire we've got some below there and some on the lower deck right now all the cocktails or most of the cocktails guys on here are five euros okay guys and there's a few that are six euros the mojito that's six euros all the rest are five euros each beers are three euros for a small one and four euros for a large beer and all the ciders are five euros guys for your drinks 
So guys, if you want a soft drink, refreshing little soft drink, they're two euros or three euros for the large ones. Not too bad the price on the drinks. If you're feeling a bit peckish and you uh, fancy something sweet, guys, you can have ice cream and donuts. There we are. Okay, and your donuts are two euros fifty, guys. So you can treat yourself to an ice cream for just two euros fifty. So here we are, some more crew coming on board, guys. So it's just 40 euros for the adults and 20 for children, guys. And that includes your food. Now, if you can't get here, guys, if you haven't got a car or whatever, you can just pay six euros for your transfer from and to your hotel. Now what we've got here, oh we've got some t-shirts you can buy guys, lots of t-shirts. So guys it's 10.30 and it looks like we're off. They've set the sails, oh dear, looks like the sails have seen better days. Got a little bit of wind behind us and we're off. Right, there's the other trips you can do, guys. The yellow submarine, that's going off. That's the glass bottom boat. Or the Ocean Queen, guys. Very fancy boat there. Looks like the submarine's going to go off any minute. Now there's a the beach, Ayanapa beach guys. We have been there a few times before. Check out the video of the Ayanapa beach. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Oh look. Welcome aboard. Good morning everybody. Good morning. Not too long time yet. Good morning. Good morning. It's a little bit better. Welcome. Sorry, I've got a little bit of a hangover. I did bottle the room about 10 minutes ago, but I'm fine, I'm good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Black Pearl with the wheelhouse and the main man of the day. Give him a wave. Morning, Captain! Morning! Uh, our Captain, Captain Lucas, he's going to be sailing us through the seas today. We've got a new crew. Me and Reppin' Brooks, I didn't ask for a new crew that you asked for. I didn't ask for a new crew. She did. Did I? In Castle Club last night, you were there, do you remember? He said, Skip, right, get me a new crew. Were we in Castle Club? Yes. yes. I don't like the look of them. Why? What do you mean why? It looks like an episode of the Jeremy Kyle show. <laughs> What's that? I have no idea. Okay. Well, what do you want to do? I want to get rid of them. Well, all of them. Well, we'll start with one, shall we? Which one? That one. Come why? on, Baldy. Up you get. <laughs> wow. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, we've got three golden rules aboard the Black Pearl which you must abide by at all times. Rule number one. There shall be no running on the decks of the Black Pearl. Then rule number two, no throwing of any rubbish on the decks of the Pearl or over into the ocean, because we get nasty emails of the fish, you see. <laughs> oh. Rule number three, no flushing of the toilet paper down the toilet. Well, I'll start by introducing you, mate, because you do like to waffle on that microphone, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one and only Skipper! Hey! Thank you very much. Hey. Good boy, good boy. Hey, you've Sorry. got the clap. <laughs> I am the host and bosun on board, which means I'm in charge of discipline, so if there's any messing about, I'll slap you. It's true. No child line out here. Quick slap sorts everything. No one's going to hear you scream. <laughs> right then, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the sleaziest sleaze of the seven seas, Captain Hector Barbosa! For the first step to your pirate training, you're going to design your very own pirate flag. So myself, Hector, Captain Jack, we're going to come around with some black paper and some chalk and you're going to design your very own pirate flag. And if we see an enemy pirate ship in the distance, we wave the flag and we shout things like, YAR! And it scares them right off. It works a treat every time. Right, so we're under 14. So I've got my flag and a bit of chalk. So we do our little drawing. There we are. Got a smiley face from it. Oh, where to go? 
never found any. So here we are guys, this is where you can jump off the cliff edge. We have filmed this before, there they are in these caves. And normally some people will go up to the cliff there and jump into the water. It's quite deep, quite a big jump. So look out for that video guys jumping off the cliff edge the at sea the sea Ayana. caves of Aya Napa. There's Capo Greco guys, so you know where it is. If you want to give it a try, and you've hired one of these little quad bikes, you can come down here to the sea caves. There's always lots of people, there's ice cream, there's loads of quad bikes up there. But we haven't got any jumpers at the moment. Also guys, brilliant place for snorkeling around here. Right, so there it is, there's sea caves down there. You go Bye. down. Next time don't wait, buy a ticket, come on. There we are. So yeah guys, so you can walk down there, can you see the people walking down into the cave? So there it is, Capo Greco, can just see some people at the top. Yeah. They're all waving at us. We're going to play a little game. One person is going to win a free drink. So listen carefully. Can I play? No. <laughs> What's going to happen is... Oh, he's had a lot of rum. I'm going to list off some ingredients of a cocktail, okay? And the first person uh, to get the cocktail right is going to win themselves a free cocktail. Because us pirates, we used to sail the seven seas for the long periods of time. And we used to take a lot of rum with us. But to make it last, we used to have to add water to the rum but we don't do it anymore strictly forbidden on the black pearl but what we can do is add some herbs some fruit some spices to make it taste nicer like modern day grog or cocktails okay so listen carefully be loud and clear with your answer because i want to give the drink to the right person okay so we're going to stop that's excellent leave the menus cheating <laughs> we're going to start off with some soda water oh no what? Sex on the beach! Oh, you can't say that. Sex on the beach? It's cocktails, it's not your requests for the <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> so apparently there's a guy on his own, George. And we've all tried to wake him up, unfortunately we haven't. Now this lighthouse is right on the headland, guys, where Capo Greco is. This is called the Blue Lagoon. Why is it called that? Because it's blue and it's a lagoon. That's pretty easy. Blue. Blue. Yeah. Right, you got that, guys. We're heading into the Blue Lagoon. Well, this is where we're going to have our first swim stop of the day. So I hope everyone wants to have a nice little swim. I was just going to say, guys, very popular place for little yeah. swim well, stops. Stay on the ship for now. Don't get off. But if you want to jump off the ship, you are allowed to do that at your own risk if you look over the edge here you'll see we've got a wooden platform here one over there where the ropes come down and then Let's go one and have a look at that yeah, up top. you'll see the platforms exactly the same on the other side so if you want to jump you can climb over get onto the platform and jump at your own risk once we've stopped not now do not jump off the captain's cabin up top or anywhere else because it's not safe. Only the platforms, okay? They're the jumping platforms. Please only jump off those. If you don't want to jump downstairs to the back where you came on this morning, there's ladders so you can climb in and out safely. Here we are. We've got a few brave souls. Off he go. Oh, no, no, he's changed his mind. No, he's, yes, he's going. He's not going. Oh, he's gone. Right, let's get up there, see what other brave souls have decided to jump off the platform. There we are. So there's the platform, guys. 
Just here. Oh, another brave soul. Off he goes. <laughs> look. He doesn't look too worried. Off he goes. Oh. He survived. There's another one. There he goes. Oh. Oh. Straight in, guys. No worries. There are floating things there. Oh, we've got a, a few young crew willing to jump off. There he goes. Another crew member getting off here. Uh, there we are. Oh, oh, he doesn't care. He's going. Oh, he's in. Right, we've got one of the crew member willing to go off. Don't think that one's going to come back. Actually, there you go. Never mind. So it looks like she's going off now. Quite a jump, guys. <laughs> oh, I don't think the crew member's going. Changing her mind. Take your time. And she's off. Oh, wow. Oh, oh no, she's made it. Wow, well done. <laughs> so, guys, unless you've been instructed to, you don't have to walk the plank like our crew. I don't think they had their ticket. So, unfortunately, they had to go and walk the plank. But you can come off the back of the boat. Here we are, the crew will help you. And there's some step to come back on. There we are. So there's loads of people enjoying this beautiful blue sea. Look at this. So you can jump off here, guys. There we are. Or you can just walk off the steps. There we are. Cool. We'll go down and see some of the swimmers, shall we? There we are. There are, so it's not very far to jump off, guys, here at the back of the boat. And there's these fantastic steps. There's one of the young crew going down the steps, you see. What a great refreshing stop. Way. You can always borrow some of these life vests, guys, off the boat. And they also put out these rafts going out. So if you're not a competent swimmer, it's not a problem. So guys, after that refreshing swim, I'm going to have a slow beer. There we are. And the crew's got a mojito. Here we are. What type of mojito is that? That's the classic one, guys. Doesn't it look nice? With all the mint on top and the lime. So, cheers, guys. The thing is, with mermaids, well, they're not quite the pretty picture that Disney painted them out to be. They're actually quite vicious creatures, so they are. What they would do, they'd lure you in with their singing, like the singing that you can hear now in the recording. Those are mermaids singing. Then you get close to the mermaids, because of your curiosity, they grab you, pull you to the bottom of the ocean, kill you, and have your wicked way. Sometimes the other way around. If you're lucky. If you're lucky, that's right. So watch out well, for the mermaids, mermaid, guys. You, that's right, you know Ariel, don't you? Ariel from The Little Mermaid. That's all right. Jack's ex girlfriend. I had to break up with her. Why? You were a good couple, you two. We were, but every time I took her out, she got legless. <laughs> Get close to the shore, guys. I hope the captain knows what he's doing. So is that. I think we're coming up to the famous Love Bridge. There it is, just there. Can you see it going across? Ahoy, tiny boat. Okay, oh, really close, guys. Now this rock. Oh! Stop the ship! Stop! Stop! Stop. Stop. Oh my word! Stop. Oh my god! Don't just leave it, grab it! Oh my god! 
Oh, we're right. Oh, wow, guys. We're only about a meter away from the rocks. So let's go down and have a look at the love bridge. Don't leave it. Now, legend has it, if you cross this bridge, hold in the hands of your loved one, then your loved one last for eternity. Eternity. So did you hear that guys? If you cross this love bridge with your loved one, your love will last for eternity. But unfortunately guys, there's a big crack in it. Can you see right in the middle? And it's fenced off now. Place to visit. Three, two, one. My boat's bigger than your boat La 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 <laughs> So I St. Oglis, this church was built, dedicated to all the fishermen lost at sea that went out and never returned Underneath the church is a natural water spring believed to be the original fountain of youth where us pirates go and wash all our bits and pieces annually Now this is what we call the cat cave guys This is where the cats come down through the little secret entrance they've got and they sit in the cave so this is our famous coastal path you can just see going along here of course you'll notice a big hotel up there on the hill and then just below it a beach known as Godnos Bay now I love Godnos Bay I really do that's, that's Godnos Bay guys look out for the video for Godnos Bay well it's time for part two of pirate training Ooh. That's right, you've done part one, you've okay, made your guys. very own pirate flags. So, so we got Louis, our car. Louis, you need to get ready, it's part two of pirate training now. So we got our pirate What's gonna flag, is, guys. You're all going to learn the pirate dance. Well, they say never give a sword to a man that can't dance. That's not why we don't have swords. That's because of the incident that we're not allowed yeah, to we're talk not allowed about. To talk about that. We don't talk about that. Not allowed the swords, guys. Stand up, line up on the side of the ship, right? right everybody, so stand hey, up. I'll tell you what, turn this music. Off. I'm going to turn it off because it's starting to make my ears bleed a little bit. Me too, mate. Me too. Horrible. Right then, Spraggy, stand up, line up on the side of the ship, right round to the front where Barbosa is. I'm going to do a pilot dance, and all you need to do is follow me and Barbosa over there. Make sure you're wearing your flip flops because the decks are getting hot. So guys, wear appropriate what, shoes really like for your dance. Manchester United. So don't forget guys, this is for the Sproggies, the youngsters. Spread them out a little bit, Barbosa. They're lining up at the front. And Captain Jack Sparrow is going to show us the dance. Right then, so all you need to do is copy me and Barbosa. Are you ready? Yeah? Is it please? Guys, so all the right, adults are going to have a little dance. Come on, we're going to oh, do some dancing. Look, dolphins, dolphins, dolphins. There. Ah, oh, that's a shame. You can't complain later. <laughs> you didn't see any dolphins. Right then, come on, that adults. That was the Don't dolphin shy. submarine, guys. Right. Left. Right. So I do believe yeah, this is a that. pirate Greek dance. Okay. Perfect. All right then. Use it please! But you show us what to do. When you're ready, Skipper. Okay, Skipper. Anytime. 
So here we go right guys. Left. You see? Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Those of you sitting down, clap along. Just clap right. along guys. Right. We'll do a little okay, bit so of... We'll get a bit faster now, so get ready. Clap, 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 clap. And we're off. Looks like great fun. There we go. Now take your left hand, point your left finger out in front of you, and put that finger in your nose. Hello, yeah, no, no sideies, mate. I want it right up there. Yeah, yeah. Pick me a winner. Well, that's perfect, guys. Just that's have a clear you out. Up there, you're not going to be a real pirate like us. All wrong. No. There we go. I swear to be the best pirate I can be. One to be trusted, not to be trusted. I swear. I swear to run from any fight I cannot win and win any fight from which I cannot run. I swear. I promise to keep my sword sharp and my pistol loaded. I swear. I swear. I got it. Had to stop swearing. <laughs> now, us pirates, we don't say yes. We say I. 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 Oh, yeah, it's on the count of three. Sorry. Three, two, one. I. Louder. There we go. For those of you sitting down, clap along to the beat. It's like we will rock you. Buddy, you're a boy, make a big noise, playing in the street, gonna be a big man someday. You got blood on your face, big disgrace, kicking your candle over the As we sail past Brodara, we're going in for lunch. This lunch is served down below. We're going to go down and help ourselves to a lunch. So they're calling a few people at a time, serving the food. So there's not much of a queue, guys. Great idea. So there's the crew, guys, serving lunch. And lunch is included in the price. And we've got some chicken and some lovely roast potatoes. Loads of food and we'll show you that in a minute. So there's the lovely staff showing, serving the food. So guys, looks like we've got a delish lunch here included in our ticket. We've got chicken, roast potatoes, coleslaw, some tzatziki and some rice and of course as much bread as you like looks really delish well as you can see guys that food was delish and if you wanted some more no problem guys you can always go back for seconds or thirds if you like have you eaten yet crew uh, you, you're not allowed to, you are you? You left me nothing to eat, my friends. So you can have just the bones. Yeah, everything was so tasty. It was, it was good. It was delicious. delicious. Lovely. If you want some more, downstairs, get yeah. some more. So guys, if you want more, help yourself. There's loads of space, guys, to eat your food or relax on this ship. Loads of these conveniently located comfortable benches so there we are guys that was a beautiful lunch and we've been down to Famagusta the famous abandoned town of Famagusta and you can get several trips to Famagusta you can get the red bus company or you can get other bus companies that will take you there it's really good they've opened up Famagusta 
and you can go into the abandoned city you can hire a little bike to go round or you can walk round look out for the video guys we've been there several times and we'll probably go back there in the winter when it's a bit quieter now the wind's picked up guys we're in the afternoon heading back So it's a weekend now and there's a few uh, leisure boats out. We're just going to turn this headland and back towards Panera. Right, guys, we're heading back towards Conos Bay, the famous Conos Bay. Beautiful little beach. Loads of little anchoring points, you see lots of leisure craft here. And I think we might have a little stop here guys after lunch. Right guys, here we are in another beautiful swimming spot at Conos Bay. There's Conos Bay up there. Just to swim off our big meal at lunchtime. And if you fancy a little bit of snorkeling, one of the crew is going to drop some bread into the sea. He's got some bread there. And he's going to just drop it into the sea to attract some fish. Right, so one of the crews just dropped the anchor. It's down there, you can see. There we are. So he's just setting the anchor, guys, so everyone can get off. Now you can jump off again if you like or you can go around the back I think we'll go around the back Right guys, it looks like the anchor's been set There we are We're all secure Ready to get off And the other crew's got uh, a bag of bread It's going to throw the bread at the back So it can attract some fish for the snorkelers So guys, there's the lifeguard He's standing by and there's your life vest. Well, I do the life vest, the lifeguards out there. Oh, so he's not lifeguard. No, no, Thank God, God for that saving. guide. Thank God for that, guys. I know, right? Right, we're going to go and have a refreshing swim. Right, guys, we're having a lovely refreshing swim. There's the crew getting in. Uh, what we do, we'll swim round the side. Oh, it's a little bit of a tide. So you can see from here guys the platforms you can jump off of. You see we'll go around the other side and have a look there, shall we? So guys the crew is throwing bread down. There it is. And we'll squash it up and hopefully some fish will come. I haven't got my snorkeling gear with me. There we are, there's a few snorkelers around. bit hectic here in the back of the ship guys so if you just swim a little way there we are all quiet and down a bit there we go how beautiful is that guys nice and quiet here loads of these floating ropes guys so if you're not a competent swimmer it's not a problem What a great refreshing swim guys As you can see there's loads of room on this boat to relax But we're on the back of the boat here near the bar and there's another deck upstairs and one below us Right guys looks like we're sitting off soon and on the way back, you could treat yourself to a lovely donut. There we are. What do you need to call me? No, not this chappy here. He's not the donut. These are the donuts, guys. Lovely donuts, two euros fifty. That's right. Yeah. Oh, we can have some ice cream. Scotchies. 
or some nice ice cream. Treat the bar lady to a nice slush puppy at the back. We've got pineapple, tropical blue or strawberry, or mixed up. Can we have it mixed up? Yep. Of course you can. You can even have a drop of rum in there. You can have a drop of rum and a fork, anything you like, anything. guys. As long as you're over five. Yeah. Right, so that was a great swim stop, wasn't it, guys? So, guys, it doesn't look like we've left anyone behind, but you never know. Apparently, there are a few sharks around here. They come out in the evening. So let's go up to the uh, upper level, guys, to the wheelhouse. There we are. There's a captain in his wheelhouse. Might disturb him. There he is. He's ready to go off. He's going to give instructions to get the anchor up. I think we are in safe hands, guys despite what the crew says. There we are, got some waves. Hi guys, give us a wave. There we are. And we're off. Another lovely place to relax, guys. Look at all this space everywhere. There we are. These people are taking advantage of the shade and this chap is taking advantage of the sun. And off we go guys. What a great trip. Dream on Hector. Dream on. Hi George. Hi guys. Hi guys. Ooh. I think everyone's enjoyed themselves. Some more waves there. Looks like we've got everyone aboard. Is everyone aboard? Yep, I think everyone's aboard. because Barbosa viciously mutilated me, put me on an island and left me for dead. Because I needed a ship and I'm a pirate. Then you were a poor captain, but a captain nonetheless. Rude. Have you no introduced yourself all these years as Captain Jack Sparrow? <laughs> is that Louis? Louis. Louis, are you brave? Yeah. He's brave and you crazy. Are. The perfect combination. Go on then, Louis. Kiri, you can help him as well. Come on, mate. You go up there. You, this is, you don't open it, mate. <laughs> you just go and swap that with the one that he's got, right? Go on, Kiri, you go and help him. Big encouragement, ladies and gentlemen. Blue! Go on, Louie, you can do it. And he's done it! Well done, Louie! Well done, you bring that. Attack, honey, they are! Attack! Hit him! Harder! Damn you, Jack Sparrow! Well, I'll tell you what, we've got the chest. I want to find out what's inside now. So when I say Sprogs to the main, I want all the Sprogs over here to the bar. All right? Sprogs to the main! Go into the bar, let's find out. Right, let's find out, shall we? Sounds like there's rocks inside. 
But the last time it was in space, wasn't it? Hey, hey. Yeah. All right, back up, back, back, back up. Here we go. Bye now. Oh, did you get scared? It's only sweets. Ah, sweets, guys. Sweets, guys, for the little sprogs. Guys, here comes Squid Face. We've got a problem. Squid Face is here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I think our squid face wants to take photographs with absolutely everybody around. We'll make your way down. Oh, frightened. Headshot. All right, guys, if you want to take a little photo with squid face, come up here. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Now, guys, why people are taking the opportunity to have some photos taken with the crew? I'm coming down here below deck to show you how spacious this boat is. Right, so we're on the lower deck. Can you see there's loads of space to relax? There's the bar. Ladies and gentlemen, our squid face is leaving. So, let's so if you wanted to get away... Bye, Davy So guys, if you want to pick up a souvenir, we've got these little t-shirts, look, we've got kids sizes and the adult sizes over there. So let's make our way to the front of the ship guys, or the bow should we say, and we can climb right up to the walls of the bow guys if you wanted to, let's go up here. Any more anniversary couples, weddings? So we've Don't got uh, some celebrations married. going on on the no. ship as well, guys. Yeah. Birthdays, anniversaries. Hi, guys. Hi. Maybe somebody wants a divorce. Divorce. Right, so we got one newlywed couple. Give them a round of applause. Hey. And we've got one anniversary <laughs> couple. What's your name? Come on, you. Come on, mate. Whoa. Down you get. How long have you been married? No way, 20 years. 20 years. Is we can marry you now, free of charge. Oh, that's a great idea, isn't course. it, guys? Yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing. We can renew your vows as well. So, and guys, we'll look at this. Relationship. Are we ready to do it? They're going to get married properly on the should Black Pearl. Yeah. Oh, I think we should, okay, guys. So first of all, what I'm going to ask you to do is get down on one knee. So, we are gathered here on this glorious day in front of Calypso, goddess of the sea, our beautiful bridesmaid, Jack Sparrow, and all you lovely ladies and gentlemen, to marry these two, these four couples in bondage and slavery. Oh, what? I come, it comes to mind. Oh, sorry, I always get a bit mixed up. Holy matrimony is what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you pirates take these wenches? to be your lawful wedded wenches through rich times, through poor times. Let me tell you now, the poor times will come first, as I'm sure you know after 32 years, because they're going to spend all of your money on shoes. Say I do. I do. He does. I do. He does. Right. Stand up and give your wenches a kiss, and I'll pronounce you pirate and wench. Give a cheer. Yay. Congratulations, or commiserations. So the cannons are going to go off. We don't know how loud they're going to be. Could be loud, it could be. Oh, 
huge cheer for the happy couples. Congratulations, guys. So this is obviously the most popular deck, guys, the sun deck. Still lots of room to relax and enjoy the crew being a bit silly. Yes, guys, it looks like one of the younger crews taking the helm. Where are we going? We're going in the right direction. Just got to turn left. Looks like the other crew's got the other wheel guys are you sure we're not going to crash into the rocks we've got to go left a bit or right left a bit okay here we go it's a bit premature uh you hit a donkey uh, it's only got three legs now i suppose we could call it a wonky donkey take aim and ah! go upstairs prepare for landing guys or docking should I say I think we should send one of the crew members up to the crow's nest Just keep out look out make sure there's no uh, other pirate ships coming oh, yo -ho -ho. and other such piratical things you wave your hats in the air you wave your t-shirts in the air you can even wave your weapons in the air Flora it's still a family boat, so just the gun. All right, darling. Perfect. All right, then. Cannon one in range. Aye. Cannon two. Aye. Fire the cannons! Aye. So there's the buses, guys. There we are. There's the buses, and they're taking the customers back to the hotel guys so if you haven't got your own transport it's just six euros for your transfer to the black pearl there and back there we go so guys we've just disembarked the black pearl what a great trip delicious food very spacious boat the entertainment was out of this world don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below